Yo, what's up guys? It's Julian de Guzman. Um, I am a choreographer slash creator slash dancer. Um, I am 19 years old. I'm from New Jersey and currently living in LA. Hey, what's up guys? This is B-Dash and I am an Instagram creator. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chelsea Hill. I am a creator here on Instagram. I am also the founder of the Rolex Los Angeles wheelchair dance team. Hey, and yeah, I can't wait to chat with you guys a little bit more of how I create things. <laughs> My content is very creative and it's very original and it's original from top to bottom because I make the music, create the dance to present it to you. My page is all about obviously disability and I guess normalizing it a little bit more for the community and for the world. I didn't start choreographing until like 2015. It's different now because I've been dancing longer and I've been creating more, so I've been getting used to the fact of, you know, being comfortable of putting my work out on Instagram. It's wholesome content. That's what they say, wholesome content. And it gets a lot of people like nostalgic when they come to my page and they be like, oh my God, you know what? You're bringing me back. I'm like, that was my idea. That's what I was trying to do. First of all, I'm a crumper, so we create a lot. We like to create off concepts and we love to create off of uh, just natural movement and natural feeling. My Most of my creation came from being a crump. And so when I started like, oh snap, let me get on IG. I was like, yo, let me show people my creation. I'm a firm believer in if you don't show it, nobody knows you can do it. So for me, I, you know, first started promoting and posting wheelchair dancing and the fact of me creating concept videos on Instagram because I saw other able bodies doing it and I was so inspired by them and I didn't see any other wheelchair users doing it. So I thought to myself, why not post a video on Instagram where I could show the world that dance is dance whether you're walking or you're rolling. And I did a video with me and my friend uh, Samantha Long and it hit like 92K views and I was like, yo, let's go. And then literally right after that, I did like 10 videos straight and I was getting over 100K views and I was like, whoa. Chris found posting on his, his page, actually. I just felt like it was it. I mean, I had people follow me. I'm a really big like Chris Brown fan, but it was people like Diddy who followed me. I was like, okay, we're on to something, Lex. My choreography on NBC's World of Dance. It was one of the first rounds with me and Charlize. Um, that hit a million. And I was like, yo, that's crazy because I've never seen that type of type of number on any of my platforms. So that, that was truly unbelievable. I think the moment I realized I made it on Instagram was one of my videos went viral and it was it was the song Crazy in Love by Beyonce, choreography by Brenda Nicole, and the video went nuts. It went viral. Beyonce's mom posted it. I have a set of followers that understand me and that's why I'm like really happy. I can just, you know, do my own thing and they'll be like, okay, Lex, I'm like, now you know I was gonna do this. So they're like really encouraging and they care a lot. So shout out to y'all. My followers, my community out on Instagram, they are very loyal and so supportive. And I I absolutely love it. Honestly, when I'm having a bad day, I just like, I go on my Instagram and I could literally go through my DMs and people are just thanking me for being so authentic and just human and real. And that is the stuff that keeps me doing what I'm doing. Well, my community on Instagram is very supportive, actually. Uh, they love to share my stuff. They love to, uh, message me in my DMs and tell me how wonderful and how great things are. And I do my best to try to answer everybody. Sometimes it's hard because it's a lot. And I just feel like the community is great. Like that's how we're able to connect. That's how we're able to collab. For me, I love collaborating because it gives you an opportunity to work with another artist, but it also gives you another opportunity for both of your following to collaborate and to join. I think collaboration is a huge, a huge factor in my practice, especially dance, because the way we grow and the way we learn to get better in dance 
is to learn from other choreographers or learn learn from other artists or learn from just experiences with other people.